What's up guys, my name is Swifters and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel today. I have for you all a super exciting Fortnite video because in today's video we're going to be taking a look at 5 things that noobs do within the game. Now it's alright if you guys do some of these things, but generally speaking these are things that some novice or more inexperienced players do and if you guys do do these things, don't get discouraged. But overall, I hope you guys are going to enjoy today's video. Please be sure to let me know in the comment section below other things you guys see noobs do in the game if I don't happen to mention them in today's video. And also, let me know how many wins you guys have in the game in total. Overall, with all of that being said, let's get started with today's video taking a look at 5 things that noobs do in Fortnite Battle Royale. So the first thing that noobs do is they don't collect enough resources or building materials throughout the game. Obviously, this game is based off of building structures in order to win. Obviously, it's a player versus player survival game, but at the same time, you really need to build structures in order to eventually win when it comes down to a very small amount of people still alive in the game. Not only that, having materials to build structures throughout the duration of the game is super helpful because if you ever get caught in a sticky situation and people start to fire at you from all different directions, you can easily whip up a couple of walls in order to protect you from each side. Now every single time I play, I always spawn in, I drop in on a house or a particular area, I get some guns, make sure no one else is in the area, and once I do so, I go to town trying to get as many building materials as I possibly can. Obviously, wood is the most accessible resource because the majority of things are made with wood in the map, but personally, I try to get as much stone as I can because it's a lot stronger than the wood and it's easier to acquire as opposed to the metal. Obviously, if you're in an area where you can mine a lot of metal, that's the best thing that you can do because it's a lot stronger It takes a lot of shots for the enemy to actually destroy it So that's what I recommend doing as soon as you drop into a particular area Get some guns kill anyone that you see around you Make sure that there's no one else and go to town getting as many resources as you possibly can It's really helpful especially if you're playing with friends because they can watch your back and all of you guys can Collectively pick up resources in order to build a structure later on in the game so that's the first thing that noobs do, they don't collect enough resources or building materials. Moving on to the second thing I see a lot of noobs do, is they wait too long and they have to run to the safe zone, and they eventually get consumed by the storm, and they end up losing some health. Obviously, the storm is random, so you don't necessarily know where it's going to be as soon as you drop into the game, and in about 20 seconds after you do so, the storm eye begins to form, but what I see a lot of people do is they forget that the storm is closing in or it's forming, and all of a sudden, they realize that the storm is 30 to 45 seconds away from them, and then they need to run an extremely far distance in order to actually get into the safe zone, and once they get there, they're already very low on health just because the storm took out almost half or even more than their health and that makes them super vulnerable to people looking for people who are trying to make their way out of the storm so the best thing that I recommend doing is keeping your eye on the map make sure you know how far the safe zone is make sure you know how close the storm is to you and don't spend too much time in a town because you want to try to be constantly moving in this game in order to get into that safe zone all while trying to look out for enemies now another thing that I see noobs do when they're playing, and this mostly occurs in the very beginning of the game as soon as they jump off of the battle bus and they land in an area, they end up getting to a specific area and they realize that all of the guns are gone and there's enemies around them who have maybe an uncommon gun or a common gun like a pistol or a pump shotgun and they try to attack those guys with only their pickaxe. Oftentimes, you're gonna end up dying. Although it's a valiant effort trying to go out swinging and kill that guy who has a weapon shooting at you with your pickaxe, the best thing that I recommend doing is trying to stay clear of everyone that has weapons if you don't happen to have any. If you realize you land on a house and there's guys under you and they have all of the weapons, definitely get out of there. Don't try to be a hero. Don't try to kill them with your pickaxe and pick up those weapons because oftentimes you are going to die. There are very few scenarios where you do end up killing the guy if you're jumping around a lot and that guy is very bad and he's super inaccurate with his weapon, but if you 
happen to land on a house with enemies under you, I recommend getting out of there, trying to get to a different house, trying to get to a different area of the map in order to pick up some weapons in order to kill other enemies. Now the next thing that noobs do, I was really contemplating whether or not I should actually include it in this video because I'm sure a lot of people actually do this and they aren't noobs because this is a rather strategic tactic and it definitely allows people to get to a very select amount of people still alive in the map and that is the bush wookie. What I'm talking about is people who hide in bushes. Now as I said, I know a lot of people may actually do this and they may not think it's a rather noobish thing to do, but personally I think it's a little bit juvenile and I absolutely despise people who hide in bushes. I try not to do it at all. The only times where I may find myself hiding in a bush is if I'm the only one on my squad left alive and there's three or four enemies around me. I try to hide in that bush in order to get the advantage, but if you're just playing solo, I really think it's a very juvenile and noobish thing to do if you hide in a bush just because I feel a lot of people who are rather experienced with Fortnite, they look down on people that hide in bushes and don't get me wrong, sometimes it's a very good tactic, but it's definitely something that I see a lot of noob or novice players do. Now again, I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to include this in this video, but at the same time, I thought that a lot of people who may be new to the game definitely hide in bushes, which is why I've decided to include it in this list. So please be sure to let me know in the comment section below if you guys agree with me. Do you guys think that hiding in bushes is something that novice or new players do? Personally, I do. I try my best to stay away from it, and I think a lot of people look down on people that hide in bushes. Now the final thing I wanted to touch on in today's video that I see noobs do, and this is something that can easily be corrected, is they lose health by falling or jumping off of mountains. Now for those of you who don't know, you're allowed to fall from three stories high and you're not able to lose any damage. So once you get to anything past three stories high, then you start to lose some damage. What I see a lot of people do is they try to scale down mountains or they end up just trying to fall off a mountain and they end up losing health. And this is something that can easily be corrected by simply building a ramp down the hill or by simply trying to take a different route. But not losing health by going down a mountain is crucial because if you lose a couple of health points by falling off of a hill, it definitely creates a disadvantage for you when you get in a firefight with someone because you may have lost 25 plus of your health by doing something super stupid. Now if you're a noob and you're watching this, I definitely recommend trying to build a ramp down the hill until you're at least three stories high and then you can successfully jump off of that hill in order to not lose any damage. Now there may be times where I personally accidentally fall off of a hill because I don't see the drop, but for the most part I consciously make the decision to build a ramp down every single hill I go to because I know that if I lose some health by simply falling off of a mountain, it's going to create a huge disadvantage to me when I end up getting in a firefight. So guys, those are five things that I personally see noobs do in Fortnite. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys agree with my list. Do you guys think all of these things should be on this list? And if I forgot to mention any other thing that noobs do that you guys have personally seen, please be sure to let me know in the comment section below. I would love to make another follow-up video talking about five more things that noobs do if you guys happen to have any new ideas. On top of that, I do plan on making a five things that pro Fortnite players do so if you guys have any suggestions that you guys have seen good Fortnite players do, please be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Also guys, if you want to get free V-Bucks or the currency used in order to purchase character skins and other customization options in Fortnite, make sure to click the link in the description below. It's going to take you to an application called Feature Points, so go ahead and open up Feature Points by using my referral link. Basically, this is an application that allows you guys to download a ton of games, get some points for those, and if you play those games for a minute or two, you're going to end up getting those points, and with those points you can purchase some really awesome rewards like PayPal money, Xbox Live cards, PSN cards, and with those points and rewards, you can go ahead and get yourself some V-Bucks in order to acquire some really awesome character skins and other customization options within Fortnite because it is anticipated that a lot more really awesome items are going to be added into the game. So make sure that you guys click the link in the description below and download feature points. It's actually going to be the top link in the description, so definitely do that in order to get some really awesome items in the game. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 
if you did, please be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new. Also, let me know in the comment section below five things that you guys would like to see added in the five things that pros do in Fortnite. And also, let me know if there are any other things that I forgot to mention in today's video that you guys personally see noobs do. Regardless, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And with that being said, I'll be sure to catch you guys later.